Princess Anne was accused of being rude, sulky, and difficult in a documentary, and one journalist described her as being very bad-tempered. The Princess Royal, who did not speak to the press, was regarded in her youth as being rather surly and impolite. Her manner drew particular criticism from the American press during her visit to Washington, D.C. not long after she left school. The 2002 Channel 4 documentary The Real Princess Anne added she often found herself in trouble, citing her numerous speeding offenses and criminal record after her dog bit someone. It said, the Princess Royal is often in trouble. Unlike the kidnap attempt, it's usually trouble of her own making. She has been accused of being rude, sulky, and difficult. She was also the first of the Queen's children to be divorced. At one time, she looked like the royal least likely to succeed. Yet now, when the royal family is engulfed in problems, and seems somehow to emerge unencumbered and untainted. The documentary is likely referring to problems with the Queen's other children, Prince Charles and Prince Andrew, whose marriages and divorces were messy than Anne's. Joy Billington, who was a journalist in Washington, D.C. at the time of Anne and Charles' 1970 U.S. visit slammed Anne's behavior towards the press. She said, she was very bad-tempered, very sulky, she really didn't want to be there, that was the impression one had. Helen Thomas, very respected journalist, said Princess Anne, what do you think of the Washington Monument? And instead of saying very tall, she could have answered in two simple words, she said I don't do interviews. Meanwhile, royal biographer Kitty Kelly claimed Anne's dismissive behavior made Charles look good by comparison. In her book The Royals she explained how Charles had tolerated tedious questions from reporters, but Anne had refused. She added, he smiled for photographers, she swatted them like nasty flies. Her demeanor was not the only thing that got Anne in trouble, however. She got her first speeding fine aged 20, before racking up four more and was even banned from driving for a month. Then, in 2002, she pleaded guilty to a charge under the Dangerous Dogs Act after her English Bull Terrier bit two children in Windsor Great Park. She was fined £500 for the attack, had to pay £250 in compensation and £148 in costs at the Slough Magistrates Court. This meant she was the first member of the royal family to be convicted of a criminal offence. And was also the, the first of the Queen's children to get divorced, when she ended her marriage with Captain Mark Phillips in 1992. Later that same year, she married Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence.